so lonely when you leave me I need someone where go home me mm -hmm. I need love, I need totally I need love, I need somebody, I need love mm -hmm. I need somebody, I need touch mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I need Bye. totally What up, though? What's cracking with all of my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios out there? I hope everyone in my Scorpio collective is doing well. Let me say happy birthday to you before we get into this reading. If your birthday is today, I gave Miss Brown her shout out yesterday, so I hope you saw the video, Miss Darla, where I gave you a happy birthday shout out, okay? You guys, I am running a special on my love reading, so if you're interested in a personal, my love readings are on sale for $40, okay? Ooh, Scorpio, I'm tired. I've been on the go since about 5 o'clock this morning. It is now 4.30 in the evening. I'm trying to cook. So I got some chicken and dumplings on, you know what I'm saying? And while they in the pot, I'm going to go ahead and get y'all a quick reading out, okay? All right, so we got Neptune, okay? So someone here feels the urge to escape from limitations. So Neptune can be aspecting in somebody's birth chart, okay? We do have Pisces that's in Neptune. So this has to do like with dreaming and thinking, okay? Someone here wants to merge or wants to come together and become one okay so this neptune energy could be causing someone to possibly like they feel limited they feel like you know there could be in a situation where that like they're not growing they're not expanding you know things are the same and this is someone that wants to break free they want to escape from a limitation or any limitations in their life okay anything that can be holding them back from becoming the best version of themselves okay now scorpio you can be a perfectionist i am too okay but I feel like, you know, you have a gift here. You have a strong analytical mind and different patterns to recognize skills, okay? So it's like because of your mind, you, anal you analyze everything. And because you analyze everything, it's like you're able to see different things. You're able to see patterns. You're able to see different things within people, okay? But I feel like sometimes, you know, you have high standards for yourself. And you also may have high standards for other people, okay? So what Spirit is saying that you, everything is not going to be perfect. And I have to tell myself that, like, I be going to do certain things a certain way, but it ain't always going to work out that way, okay? You also represent this alchemy, Scorpio. So you're like this magician, okay? You're a spiritual alchemy, and you're able to be able to escape the society norms like you know the norms that society place up on the world and place up on people like you know you're able to do something different you have the art of transformation inner liberation inner liberation and change but i feel like with this alchemist energy it's like you have the power to create you're a very powerful manifest that manifester okay when i first started listening to readings and tarot and went through my awakening about three years ago i kept hearing about you know, someone being a powerful manifester and, you know, using your energy to set your intentions for the things that you want. So this is you guys, okay? And and I knew they was, I didn't know then, but as I started to, you know, practice manifesting and talking to the universe and setting my intentions with the things that I want, I started to see like, damn, I must be that powerful manifester. And some of you guys, you are as well, okay? If you manifested some things in your life, go ahead and share it with the family in the comment section below okay my car that's sitting outside y'all i manifested it like everything from the sunroof to you know what i'm saying not to make a model but i knew i wanted an older model car like the one that i had when i had my wreck you know what i'm saying this this house i'm sitting in now i manifested this you know i didn't want no close neighbors especially after i went through last year you know in that apartment i was like hell no nah, put me somewhere by my damn self and that's exactly what i got okay all right so let's get into it so we got this two of cups, okay? But as you see, this card is in reverse. So some of you could be dealing with a cancer here. It don't have to be. So what this symbolizes is somebody could be going through a breakup, okay? Somebody could be separated from their partner. But it's because there's unrequited love, okay? There's not enough love. There's not enough chemistry. There's not enough attraction to, te to keep these two people together, okay? So two people are separated right now. And it's because, you know, like, all the love is gone, okay? What they say, the thrill is gone, okay? The thrill is gone in this connection here. And it's like, there's not enough anything to keep these two people together. There's some type of imbalance. So there could have been, like, some power struggles. Like, someone here could have been very controlling. And someone here was always trying to fight, you know, for their control or fight for some power here. Someone could be taking a step back and examining this partnership, doing this separation and realizing, like, shit, I'm going to be separated forever okay 
So someone here is, is in a separation, you know what I'm saying? And it's because things are just not working out. Like, and I feel like really during this time of being separated from this person, like someone here has the urge, like this Neptune energy, especially with this being in retrograde, like this is calling someone to want to break free from anything or anyone that's limiting them, okay? Then we got the Queen of Pentacles, but this came out sideways. And I feel like who they want is this Queen of Pentacles. And I feel like this is you, okay? Whether you're a male or a female, Scorpio, a lot of us haven't fully stepped into this Queen of Pentacles energy, or they could have been married or dealing with someone who only wanted them for money here, okay? Because this Queen of Pentacles sideways does talk about someone who's lazy, they overindulge, they waste money, they're very materialistic, and they're no longer practical. So when it comes to money, this person will go buy some expensive shit and then be like, oh, I forgot we had to pay the light bill this one. I forgot we had to pay rent tomorrow, you know? So someone here, this could be the reason. So like I said, this came out crossing. So some of you, maybe you can be trying to step into this Queen of Pentacles energy here, okay? You can have your own business. You know, you experiencing this success. You can be a single parent. You know, you're the breadwinner of the household. Yeah, you have to work hard. Like, I was sitting up here thinking, they like, shit, I'm tired. <laughs> like, I've been on the go, been on my feet. Like, this is my first time sitting down. Scorpio was doing this reading right now. My body like, ah, oh, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, when you... When you're trying to create things in your life, I'm trying to create this business, trying to, you know, work on my brand and trying to, you know, pr to produce my content. Like, it's a lot. And I still got kids to take care of. And I still got to cook. Still got to clean. I still got to do regular, normal mummy stuff, you know? So it can take a toll on you. So I feel like this can go either way. I feel like some of us have not quite stepped into this queen of pentacles energy, but also where there could have been an imbalance in this connection where someone here was lazy. Like, someone here was always you know, working extra hours, working hard, trying to bring in extra money to make sure the bills and shit taken care of. And this, this motherfucker right here just sitting back collecting, you know what I'm saying? Sitting back waiting like, shit, when we get paid, bro? You know, and they like, damn, you could go to work too. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like this could be both people, okay? But with this lovers here, this is someone that's realizing that they made a wrong decision, okay? The lovers upright, you talk about, talks about someone here having a decision to make of the heart. Okay, and the decision of the heart usually talks about having to choose between two people here. Okay, and this is someone with this lovers being in the in reverse. See, they could have been confused in the past about who they wanted. You know, they possibly went with this queen of pentacles thinking this is somebody that they can grow with, you know, or, or be prosperous with. Okay, but it's like now, fast forward, they're regretting a decision that they made and, and they regret who they chose. Okay, this is definitely an energy of a breakup. Okay, but whoever this person is, the reason possibly why they chose the Queen of Pentacles was because they had a fear of commitment. Okay, so I feel like for some of you, this is someone, we're talking about someone you're dealing with. This person feared of committing themselves to you. So it was easier, you know what I'm saying, to choose this Queen of Pentacles, someone they were possibly comfortable with or had been with, with a, for a long time here, okay? But this is someone that has lost something or someone that they truly desire. And who they truly desire, Scorpio, was you here, okay? We got this two of swords. Some of you could be dealing with the Libra. So we got Cancer, Virgo, Libra, Gemini, and Libra here, okay? So with this two of swords, Scorpio being in reverse, this means someone now upright. This could have been someone who was like at a crossroads. You and this person could have, you know, been in a stalemate energy here. But this person is ready to release. I can't make this up. Whoever this is, Scorpio, whether this is you or someone in your energy, like they are ready to release. This third party, this whoever it is that's in their way, because they realize they have been stuck for too long. Remember with this lover's card, I talked about somebody here needing to make some type of decision of the heart. And now they're regretting who they chose, okay? This person is trying, like they understand. And for some of you, they've made a decision. They was like, they don't want this person no more, okay? This is somebody, Scorpio, I feel like, who wants you? Because they're sick and tired. See, dealing with this queen of pinnacle sideways, this is someone like they went through continuous cycles. Like it was always the same old shit. What they say, same shit, different day, dealing with this third party, okay? And this person is over it, okay? They sitting there like, oh, I'm so sick of this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like they are over this person, whether it's male or female. And this is someone who has made up their mind, Scorpio. Who they choosing is you. And who we talking about, baby? 11-11, divine counterpart, okay? Your twin flame. And something very significant is going to happen in divine time. For some of you, it could be happening quick, okay? We got, uh, what's this, this Libra? Right now, we're on the Libra Aries axis, okay? We just got out the Scorpio Taurus line, and now we're on Libra 
Aries, and that lasts 18 months. And I ain't gonna lie, y'all, I can't remember when it's gonna be over. But I believe sometime next year, because I believe it started earlier this year and sometime last year. I have to go back and look up my astrology right now. My mind's too cloudy. I can't focus. But really, within, I'm gonna say sometime next year. Let me get to looking, my, let me do a little research and I'll come back and let y'all know the for show dates. But sometime next year, Scorpio, this is when, like, I feel like some of these readings could be happening. Now, some of this shit can be future predictions. You know what I'm saying? But it's like during this period of time, these people that have been in the dark about uh, a karma because someone they was dealing with, like, they're starting to see the truth. I don't know if you guys have noticed how these readings are talking about, you know, things are starting to be revealed to these people, okay? You have a soul contract with this person, Scorpio, okay? This is a spiritual union. You and this person are supposed to have this spiritual union because you share this soul contract. And I'm talking about your twin flame, baby. Okay? There's been a lot of twin flame readings I have been. I don't know if you guys have noticed that too. Like, I've been doing a lot more twin flame readings. And I feel like a lot of you guys, whether you know the person that you're dealing with or not, is your twin. Like, a lot of us are twins here. And I feel like, you know, my messages resonate with you guys. And I got a lot of people that's, that's coming to me now that are twins here. This is someone that desires you, baby. And they've been self pleasuring themselves. Okay, that mean I ain't afraid to touch myself. I don't need nobody else. So this is someone that's not afraid to touch themselves, Scorpio. And every time they touch themselves, they're thinking about you. They have a lot of sexual thoughts when it comes to you. So they've been doing a lot of self pleasuring. Y'all don't mind my nails. I wasn't feeling that color yesterday, so I snatched them right on off, okay? Now, there can be somebody that's playing on the phone. They can be playing on your phone. They can be playing on this phone, okay? On, on their phone, okay? But somebody here is calling from an unknown number. They can be trying to stall somebody, trying to call and see if anybody in the background. I feel like for some of you, be talking about this queen of pentacles. All right? This is someone who's calling and playing on the phone. They're playing a lot of games for people, and I feel like your person is not here for the BS, okay? So let's see exactly who we talking about. Let's go to the who did, and then we'll roll. And I ain't got no dice. Hold on one second, y'all. All right, so we're going to pull from the who did, and we're going to see who this reading is about. I love you, Scorpio. If anything has resonated for you guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. And remember, if you are interested in a personal, my love readings are on sale for $40, okay? All right, so who is this about for Scorpio? Now, this can be a description of you guys or your person. This could be someone who got a tongue ring. They got curly hair. Messages for Scorpio. Dang, this big breast keep coming out. Okay, somebody got big breasts. Who is this about for Scorpio? You can be a younger female or someone who wears braces. So you can be dealing with a younger female or you can be the younger female here, okay? All right, so let's roll, y'all. Let's see who this reading is about. Okay, so we got Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, Sag. Heavy Pisces. Aries and Sag, Libra, Capricorn, Pisces, and Cancer. All right, you guys, I love you. And until next time, stay blessed.